Might not be of us, but of God. Amen. For greater is he that is in me, in you, than any that is in the world. And the Bible said that Christ may dwell in your heart by faith. So Christ is our light. And in his light we shall see light. I think you need to sell somebody today. That my light has come. Tell somebody else that your light, L I G H T, has come. Yeah, your light has come. Man of God, woman of God, children of the most high, saints, child of God. I think I need to ask this question at this moment in time. Before I do so, let us read Isaiah. And you know where I'm going. Isaiah 60, 1 to 3. Praise is wonderful name. Yes, Lord. Bless his holy name. Isaiah 60. And I'm reading from verse 1 to 3. Arise, shine, for the light has come. And the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth, and cross darkness the people. But the Lord shall rise upon thee, and his glory shall be seen upon thee. And the Gentiles shall come in thy light, and kill to the brightness of thy rising. Hallelujah. Your light. L-I-G-H-T has come. Again, I say your light. L-I-G-H-T has come. Now for the question. Where were you before Jesus find you? For it's not that you have found him. Because he was not last. It was you that was last. And he came and he found you. Amen. And the next question, were you in the light? Or were you in darkness? So you were in darkness. Grass darkness. That's where you were. And the Bible said the people that sat in darkness have seen a great light. To them that are in the region of the shadow of death, light has sprung up. Jesus Christ of Nazareth is the light of the world, is the great light, that true light, the light. Hallelujah, that light, every man that cometh into this world is known as the word of God. And we read... Now the entrance of God's word give it light and bring understanding to the simple. He enlightens the eyes of your understanding. Yea, that your understanding may be enlightened. That you may know. That you may know. God wants you to know. He don't want you to be left in the dark. In regarding to who you are in him. That's why I'm saying to you today, child of God. That your light, L-I-G-H-T, has come. Believe it Amen. and receive it in the name of Jesus. For this is a prophetic word for someone today. Under the influence of the sound of my voice that your light L I G H T has come. Please could you turn your Bible pages with me to the book of Ephesians 4 and we're reading from verse 1 to 13. Ephesians 4 verse 1 to 13. Hallelujah today. 
We were supposed to speak on a topic entitled What is the difference between a psychic and a prophet? But at the last minute I changed course Because I believe this is what the Lord is saying That your light Has come Ephesians 4, 1 to 13. Anyone? Glory to God. Okay. I therefore, the prisoner of the Lord, beseech you to walk worthy of the calling with which you were called. To all lowliness and gentleness, with long suffering, bearing with one another in love, endeavoring to keep the unity of the spirit in the bond of peace. There's one body and one spirit, just as you were called in one hope of your calling. Mm -hmm. One Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is above all and through all and in you all but to each one of us grace was given according to the measure of christ's gift therefore he says when he ascended on high he led captivity captive and gave gifts to men now this he ascended what does it mean but that he also first descended into the lower parts of the earth he who descended is also the one who ascended far above all the heavens, that he might fill all things. And he himself gave some to be apostles, some prophets, some evangelists, and some pastors and teachers for the equipping of the saints for the work of ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ, till we all come to the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God to a perfect man, to the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ. That's the reading of the word of God. Amen. Amen. And in the same breath, I will quickly read St. John 5, 32 to 36. There is... Another that be a witness of me. And I know that the witness which he witness of me is true. You sent unto John and he be a witness unto the truth. But I receive not testimony from man. But these things I say that you might be saved. He was a burning and a shining light. And you were willing for a season to rejoice in his light. But I have a greater witness than that of John. For the works which the Father had given me to finish. The same works that I do be a witness of me that the Father had sent me. Your light has come. Your L-I-G-H-T has come. We know knowledge is power. That's why I'm saying God wants you to know. For when you know, you can apprehend what is right fully yearns. Am I making sense or not? I'm heading somewhere with this message. There's something that I'm trying to bring to your attention today. I've come with a revelation. Revelation. 